So here we are in Corby Steelworks in Northamptonshire. We've been speaking to the works manager Gary Blackman about the Aurora project. We've spoken to Nigel Chudley who's the project manager uh, across the site for this investment programme and we're standing on the site of the combination mill for which parts have started to arrive. I want to start talking to some of the contractors who have been involved and are being involved for the completion of this project uh, and I'm delighted to be joined by John Love who's a director of MPB now. John, your company is the, is the company that's got us to this place in many respects and I know it looks like we're standing on a slab of concrete but last time I was here there was massive holes in the ground. I've seen the time lapse. There are, there's a, a complicated morass underneath here. Tell us what's been going on over the last six months that you guys have been uh, managing for us. Yeah, when we first arrived, it, uh, most of the demolition had been undertaken and there was considerable earthworks which had to be undertaken up to three metres deep. So we took all that material out and then re-engineered in 6F2 imported. We built that up to a level and then there was a complicated infrastructure of duct work that went in. So that's all the way through the side. I think it was about two kilometres of ducting all various colours going to different destinations. We then followed it up with the deepest pits, the three big pits. We, we constructed them and then we worked our way through it and working our way back. So from what was a demolition site, it's now a finished site ready for your new mill. It is an incredible transformation and uh, you know, you talk passingly of these deep pits and the, and the ductwork, but it was massively complicated, but, but critical, because if you don't get that right, once it's encased in concrete, there's kind of no going back, is there? How pleased are you with how it's turned out? It's turned out really well, and uh, all um, accolades to Tata, who we were working with collaboratively, they, uh, you know, each day we met up, we went through what we were doing for the day and what we did yesterday, and with the great team that was here, we were able to understand what we were actually building for you, <laughs> yeah. which is fundamental. We do concrete, we build structures. Yeah. We never really understand what's going on top of it. And this has been really, really good and really good experience for our company. Yeah, because I think it's the first time you've worked with Tart Steel, certainly here in, in Corby. And, uh, you know, Nigel's quite a taskmaster, isn't he? The standards here have been incredibly high. How have you found that? Yeah, I, I mean, not being too modest, this is what we have to achieve every day. We build structures up to 50 storeys high yeah. and we go down probably five, six storeys into the ground. Wow. So it is it is critical that uh, when we're setting out that uh, all the dimensions are accurate. Yeah, and, and what's the relationship been with, like with Tata in terms of every day working with a project manager, the guys on the floor, how have you found that? They've been great. It's been a great experience working with everybody. They've been learning our trade and we've been trying to learn what they're trying to do as well so it's been it's been great all around for us yeah listen thanks very much for taking time out and joining us and thanks for all the work your guys have put in to get us to this place because you know a, a building i guess is only as good as the foundations on which it's built and the same is applying for a mill which has to be perfectly level and perfectly straight and uh, i guess you'd be kind of sad to leave it behind but onto bigger and better things is it john we do we've got to, when it's all uh, lined and leveled we've got to come back and do the last little bit of grating so it'd be great to come back and see the mill in place yeah good well maybe we'll catch up with you then thanks again for taking time out to see us john thank you cheers Simone, hi, if I could just Hello. grab you for a moment, we met earlier. Nice to meet so you. Simone, you are um, overseeing the project, you're the company that made the mill uh, back in Italy. How did that project go in terms of making it and your collaboration with Tata Steel? Ah, it was a uh, very, very good collaboration. Uh, we built uh, all the equipment uh, in-house, in, in our premises and we also tested part of the equipment yeah. and uh, during this period we had uh, also a good collaboration with Tata because we shared all the information with them, all the uh, preliminary uh, drawings uh, and they check it and they, 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 they come back with uh, also their, uh, uh, their comments and uh, w w the findings that they had so that the collaboration was really, really good. Yeah. And uh, now we expect uh, that the installation on site will be easier because uh, they also made uh, already a good preliminary job uh, to, to verify all the uh, our drawings, all the information that we provided. So we expect uh, uh, to have a smooth uh, installation. And it's interesting, rather than just ship the equipment to the site and let somebody install it, you and some of your colleagues are going to be here throughout that installation period. Yes, we will be here uh, for the next uh, coming months uh, to supervise the, the whole installation. 
So we are now organizing uh, all the deliveries for the first part uh, of the meal. Yeah. And uh, then uh, we, we will supervise uh, uh, the, the, the company during the, the installation, providing the, the needed information and uh, the, the help in, ca in case they, they need some help because <coughs> we know the, the, the equipment, we know how it should uh, be installed, uh, how it should work. Uh, and so we are here also to, to, to support uh, during this phase. Uh. Now, I think it's the first mill that you've built on behalf of Tata Steel. Uh, how have you found that relationship? It was good. Uh, I know that there was already collaboration in the, in the past for other parts uh, of, of, the, of the line, but this is the first uh, uh, entire line, so the complete tube, uh, tube mill. And uh, so far, the collaboration is very good, uh, and we, we hope uh, we will also continue to collaborate in the future. Yeah, that's great. Listen, thanks very much okay. for taking Thank time out. Much. It was nice Thank to meet you. you. Good luck for the installation. We'll Thank probably you. come back when it's commissioned and up and running. I wait you. <laughs> Super. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Simone. Thank All you. the best. Bye. So listen, we've talked to the guys who have got us to this place and to put the foundations in place and everything that goes under the floor. We've talked to Simone from Maya, the equipment suppliers who's going to oversee the installation of the project. But there's another company who are critical to the success of the combination mill, and that's Rapid Response Solutions. Uh, delighted to be joined by Neil Cannell. Neil, your technical director for Rapid Response Solutions. You've got quite a challenge ahead of you over the next 12 weeks, haven't you? Uh, yes, we have, yes. Um, a key thing for us is to get all the delivery schedules worked out, starting from Q5 back up to Q1, offloading and positioning. Then we'll be doing lining and levelling with Mayor Company. Uh, once those are done, drill and secure. We have a team of six to eight electricians, terminating and cutting cables, uh, and then at the end of the project, once it's commissioned, we'll be able to stand by there to make sure everything's connected and working well. You make it sound very simple, Neil, and, and fair play to you, and I know it's what you do for a living. But in my mind, I'm, all I can see is these thousands and thousands of pieces of equipment coming through the door. And you guys have to work out how to put it together, how to put it together straight and level. And I know it's your job, but um, it's quite a task for a relatively small team in a very short period of time, isn't it? It is, yes. And I think there's something like 700 tonnes worth of, of steel in the line. So, yeah, I mean, we have skilled riggers, some excellent planting equipment um, to get this, this jigsaw puzzle into place. So I'm very confident. And you come, with, you come with quite a good record. I understand you've just been putting a can-making line in in Leicester uh, with zero safety incidents. So that's, that's some commendation. It's the first time working with Tata? Uh, yes, it's the first time with RRS working with Tata. In the past, I've done a few things with them. Um, but yet the canning line that came out of um, a place in Leicester with no accidents whatsoever. So that's, we're, we're really proud of that. Now I don't know how well you know Nigel Chudley, but he's quite a taskmaster. His standards are very high. How are you looking forward to enjoying working with Nigel? Well, yes, I mean, from the, from the outset when I met Nigel, we seem to have, have clicked and have much of a bond, to be honest with you. So I'm confident that uh, the relationship will work. Yeah, well, we've got a busy 12 weeks ahead of you. I wish you every success in it uh, and stay safe. And we'd like to come back at the end and see how it all goes. But for the meantime, Neil, thanks very much for taking time out for us today. Thank you. All the best. Thank you.